Hey everybody, I'm back with a super easy, like five minute copper makeup tutorial that can kind of transition from summer into fall. It's more of the coral copper color and I think it goes great with anything. Um, it's so easy and basically you use one whole palette which is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Um, so if you're interested in getting this eye look right here, then just stay tuned. So what you're going to do is, the first step is take Soft Brown by MAC. Uh, if you don't have this color, it's totally fine. Just find something very similar. I know Makeup Geek makes something very similar. And just take a fluffy brush like this. This is by Sigma. And you're just going to apply that right into your crease. You can be super messy about it. It doesn't even matter. We're just going to use this as a transition color. So be sloppy. Don't even matter. And you're just going to apply that right in your crease. And when you get done with that, then you are going to take some type of a base, whether you want it to be the same one as this one or you have something different, it's totally fine. Um, this is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink. And it looks like this. I just use it just because it's very similar to a copper, but it brings out a little bit more like coral color to it just because I feel like this is a tutorial that you can transfer from summer into fall without going extremely dark. Um, but if you don't have this, anything will work like Painterly Paint Pot or NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk, just anything that is like a base for you. And then you're going to take a flat shader brush that looks like this and you're just going to take your Naked 2 palette and you are going to grab Chopper, which is this gorgeous coppery, coral, shimmery color. A um, little bit of orange to it and you're just going to take it and you're just going to dab your little brush into it and pat it all over your lid. And I like to pat it just because this color has some extreme fallout. It's pretty ridiculous. So you might want to do your face makeup after your eye makeup just because this does have a ton of fallout. And it's shimmery so it's going to stick to your face. But after you get it like that, just go in with your fluffy brush and just kind of blend that out so no harsh edges. I didn't grab any additional product, just blending. And it should look something like that. Then what you're going to do is grab a brush that looks like this. This is like a, what is this? Like a flat shader brush, blending brush, I mean. Yeah, just something like that. And you are going to grab your Naked 2 palette again. And you're going to grab Busted, which is this gorgeous purple color right here. If you don't have the Naked 2, um, I know Naked 1 has Hustle, which very similar color. You're just going to apply this right on the outer V. I would start light, very, very light, because this color can get very, very dark. So I'm just placing it right on the outer and going to maybe like halfway right there. And then grabbing a little bit more and just kind of going over to intensify the darkness. And then I also like to switch up the brush a little bit. I like to go with a like pencil brush that's kind of like this. Just because I can get a precise line as to where I want this color to go. So I'm just going to apply that in. And you just want to kind of blend it into your lid color as well. So just kind of going like that. It's fine if it looks a little messy right now, you can always go back in with a blending brush and kind of blend it out a little bit. And you can kind of do any shape that you like. I like to round mine a little bit, like up at the top, because I have hooded eyelids, so it looks kind of weird if I don't do that. But then I'm just going to go in with this one again and just make sure that it's blended. And then you can go in even with your big fluffy and blend it out even more so it's not so crazy like that and you kind of just want to match the other side so I think that side's a little bit darker so we'll just add some more just add it to how much you desire I mean if you're like going on a date night and it's at night you can always add more if you're going to like a school dance and it's gonna be dark you can always add more if you're going to like a lunch or something you don't have to add as much because, you know, it's light time. And 
once you get that, that should be good. I'm just going to go in with a little bit more chopper just because it did get a little bit blown away by the dark color. And you can just blend out where the dark meets the light. Just like that. And don't worry if it's like messy over here. We will fix that. All you got to do is take a brush that looks like, if I can even find mine, that looks like this. And you're just going to go in with Foxy from Naked 2, which is like a yellow color. And I'm just going to apply this as my highlight. I like to do it like all over because I have really dark inner corners and this color is yellow so it kind of helps balance out the darkness. And I'm going to put that on my brow highlight. And the cool thing is you can even bring it down like that and blend that out right there. Look how nice that looks. And then you're going to go in with your pencil brush again and you're just going to grab Busted and bring this on your lower lash line. See all that fallout from all the colors we just used? It's kind of ridiculous. And then just wipe off this brush and you're just going to pick up Chopper and you're going to put that all over the bottom lid as well. Pretty much like that. And I guess I'm a little bit darker on that side, so we'll add a little bit more. Alright, once you have your intensity done, then I've been really into not putting liquid liner on, so I'm just going to coat on my favorite mascara which is the Rimmel Scandalize Lyrica Flex. I have a whole video on this, so go check it out. I'll link it down below, but I'm just gonna put this on and then I'll be back. All right, once you've loaded on your mascara, I'm just gonna take a black eyeliner, and this is the Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Liquid Eye Pencil, and I don't know why it's liquid, but whatever. It's not liquid, it's like a pencil, but they call it liquid. I'm just gonna tight line just like that, just to add a little fullness to your lashes. And then I know my face is not symmetrical because we're gonna add blush. And the one that I'm using is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. So you're just gonna grab a blush brush and just add some on for some color. And then I also like to add a highlight, so I'm going to take my Physician's Formula um, Translucent Pearl Powder Palette Mineral Glow Pearls. Looks like this. And I'm just going to take a brush and just kind of add that right there. You can even add like a little bit right there to your nose. And then you can put some on the center of your lip. And I'm going to zoom you out. And for the lips, I use the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Natural. And then over top, I use the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee. Um, super amazing combo. I use it all the time. It's probably my favorite um, like natural, neutral lip color. Amazing. And it's not sticky and gross and bleh. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It's super easy. It's like a one palette tutorial and it takes like five minutes. So I hope you guys try it out. And if you do, leave comments down below. And thanks for watching. Bye, guys.